I'm here with D. Wallace at the Macy store for the White Night event. D, talk about how you became involved with APLA. Oh my gosh, I've been involved with APLA for so long. I'm not. I think through Madonna Cacciatore, who was an acting student of mine, and we became close friends. She's now very involved with APLA and brought me in, and I have been a supporter ever since for anything they ever do anywhere. Talk about uh, some of the challenges with the recent budget cut. I know APLA lost $1.6 million with the budget cuts. How does that affect the community in Los Angeles? Well, okay, well, where do I start? In a world that's full of stress and full of not enough and full of fear, uh, they take away the safeguard of the very people who need it the most. And, you know, you can call it the trickle-down effect. I call it a call for consciousness. And we just have to rise up and raise our consciousness and know that we're all connected, we're all one, and we have to take care of our brothers and sisters. And so Macy's, this wonderful, incredible event, Macy's, who are all, all, always a supporter of Apple, come forward again with a $100,000 check to help all of these beautiful men and women and children rise up and, and meet their health needs and, and meet their living needs. And speaking of uh, raising our consciousness, talk about how the average person on the street, the average man, the average woman, get helping other, each other out. What type of research is out there for us? Well, there's a lot of research going on, and again, like everything else, when survival is at the forefront of everything, oftentimes research and the consciousness takes a side because it becomes every man for himself. Uh, these funds help with medicine, help with food, help with medical visits. Uh, even, as they were saying earlier at the meeting, even a day of kind of Disneyland for these kids who have very little or nothing is a real blessing. Thanks for your time.